Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video. Um, I was away in the U in the US with work. Um, I didn't really do much in the way of anything exciting uh, outside of the office. Work was great, um, but I didn't have much time to do anything else. Um, I did, however, go to Bath and Body Works, so there will be a haul up at some point. Uh, I know Amanda's already requested one, so. Um, this video, though, I think is going to be an update for the Disney Princess Project Pan. Um, I can't believe how fast this month has gone, really, to be honest. It's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I'm, I was seeing other people upload their updates and, I, and where I'm slightly behind everyone else. I was like, how is it this time already? Are they doing two weekly updates? And then I worked out the times and I was like, no, it's been a whole month already. So... That was kind of scary. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go through the products now. Um, just a recap of the things that I picked out. So I have my notepad here. So it was a roulette style, so these are picked randomly. The first one I picked was five, which is Cinderella. And for Cinderella, I picked a, a dark brown eyeshadow. Cinderella's colours were light blue and dark brown, so I picked this eyeshadow. This was just loose in my Z palette type thing. Um, this is a Benefit eyeshadow. It's been depotted for so long I can't tell you what it is. Um, I know that it came in one of the, you know, like they've got the fabulous nudes or famous nudes, all that range. I can tell you it came in one of those, but I can't tell you which one. Um, so that's just that eyeshadow there. This is um, a repressed eyeshadow, so it is quite thin um, and getting down there. Um, I will insert a picture of how it started before. So yeah, so I've used up quite a bit, quite a bit um, expanded the pan, um, but it might be that because it's been repressed, I've not used up as much as I think I have. Um, but either way, I'll be I'll be happy when it's gone. But I am really enjoying using this eyeshadow again. So. I'll kind of be happy when it's gone because it's something out of my collection, but also sad that it's gone because I can't buy any more. I don't even know if they do this anymore. So that was the first item. So the second number that I picked was 13, which was Snow White. And for Snow White, she was blue and red. So I picked a blue item. I picked this Avon Senses Brazil Waterfall Shower Gel. Um, it's supposed to smell like a lemon, blackcurrant and ginger, but to me, it doesn't really smell of much. Um, as you can see, I've used about half. Um, I'm just up to here now, sorry. I will try and hold it straight. There. Um, this is, I didn't take this away with me, so this is about three weeks worth of use. So I think by the finale, this will definitely be gone. This may even be gone by the next update. Oh, that'd be nice. The next number I drew was number one, and that was Anna. So for Anna, I picked an eyeshadow in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, and I picked the shade Cherry Cordial, which is now this one here. Um, it was here before, but I've actually just repressed it. Um, it. It looks different. It looks more brown here, but if I swatch it, it is still the same cherry colour. It's just that um, the outside pigment, you know, the first layer has changed where I've repressed it. Um, so that will go away and then it will go back to being the cherry colour. Um, so that's that one. Uh, the next item, the next number that I drew was a number nine and that's Moana. Um, and I actually drew number nine twice. So Mo Moana was coral and tan. Um, so because I drew her twice I had to pick both a coral item and a tan item. For the coral item, I picked this uh, Rimmel 60 Second Nail Polish and Instal Coral. I have used this. Let me just mark it, sorry. Okay, so I am now there. Um, so it's quite a bit gone. Um, I'll definitely have this finished by the finale. Um, I do like this polish. I love the colour. Um, I just need to get it used up and out of my collection 
because it's starting to get on a bit in terms of how old it is and it is very um, thick and gloopy now so I want to finish it up before it you know goes bad completely so hopefully that one will be done by the finale um, the next item was number three and that was Aurora and for Aurora I picked this uh, LOC by Millie uh, lip crayon in Bohemian Rose and it just looks like that that is in its unsharpened state so do you remember last time I showed you on the paper the markings by there that is still that but used maybe twice um, so I haven't bothered to mark it again and I, I'm really really bad at finding out how to okay so we are still there um, so I've not bothered to mark it again because I've only used it twice and you know if I did another line it would be almost on top of the other one so but I do like this lip crayon um, it's a little bit strange because at first the first time I used it I thought it would be like um, like a glossy type lip colour um, and then if I swatch it it's more of a creamy matte um, but it's really nice and it's not one of these mattes that even on there it looks glossy it's weird um, yeah so it's it's big I guess because it's glossy it's not a dry matte so it's a comfortable matte um, but yeah I'm really enjoying that one I, ha I haven't used it a couple of times because I have been using up other things it's not that I couldn't be bothered to use it um, so and the last item then was Mulan and Mulan was green and blue and for that I chose the Urban Decay eyeliner in Zodiac that's this one here I tried horribly to describe this last time, but what we get, what I, um, you know, I used my words and I described it as a olivey brown colour with bright green shimmer in it. Oh, I can't. You can't see the shimmer, but it is there. Um, and I have used this quite a lot. So when I show you this on the paper, to the paper thing okay I am there um, so as I said used it quite a bit um, just it's really creamy I mean even just watching it then has used it a little bit more um, but it's really comfortable and I do wear it on my waterline even though it's got shimmer in it but the shimmer is so fine I don't feel it my eyes don't get itchy it's not uncomfortable it's just really nice to wear and it lasts all day um, so that's all my items and my updates uh, hopefully I'll have some more progress for you next time and maybe even a couple of items finished like the nail varnish and the uh, shower gel hopefully they'll be used up completely by the next time um, so that's everything for this video I'm going to probably film some more videos this evening it's so warm here guys seriously like I can literally feel my makeup melting off of my face it, it's it's really warm it, it's a struggle right now so I'll see you in a few minutes in the next video okay guys take care and I will see you soon bye